Let's talk a little Notre Dame. They offer three new wide receivers committed elsewhere, Jalen Cooper, Jace Brown, and Antavius Richardson. And also, they're still talking to Derek Meadows. So what's going on with Notre Dame and their need at the wide receiver position? Well, Marcus Freeman, Mike Denbrock, Mike Brown, that Notre Dame coaching staff, Chad Bowden, they want another dynamic guy at the wide receiver position in this class. All of those guys have that those traits you put on their film, uh, their touchdown waiting to happen. They're all going to take official visits at various points. Cooper for the Stanford game, Jace for the Louisville game, Richardson for the Miami, Ohio game. So it'll be interesting to see who from that group ultimately ends up in the fold at Notre Dame. I don't think they strike out from those three. And then dialogue remains with Derek Meadows, who had a nice touchdown grab uh, over the weekend in the ball game against St. Thomas Aquinas. Notre Dame continues to have dialogue. They were at one point considered the favorite before LSU surged in the summer. And so I expect Notre Dame to go out and see him at some point during the season when coaches mm -hmm. are on the road and they'll keep trying to chop wood and chip away at LSU, uh, who has you know, a top three recruiting class themselves right now. All right. Now, Deuce Knight, we know he's going to be in the Plains. He's going to make a visit to Auburn this weekend. How's Notre Dame approaching what's going on between Deuce Knight and Auburn? Are they actively recruiting with talking with him, recruiting him, or are they just kind of taking a step back and letting Deuce Knight do his thing here? No, they're still recruiting Deuce Knight as if none of that's happening. And he's still having regular dialogue with uh, Coach Godolgi, Coach Freeman, and the Notre Dame staff. Talks to the Notre Dame commits and tells them he plans to be back up in South Bend later this season. Uh, maybe there's a visit to Ole Miss mixed in as well, but he's going to be at Auburn this weekend. I still think Auburn has the momentum in the Deuce Knight sweepstakes, but Notre Dame continues to work as status quo with him. And, and uh, if something were to happen with Deuce Knight, Notre Dame could go out there and evaluate some senior film, go late on a guy, and we've seen them flip quarterbacks committed elsewhere in the Marcus Freeman era. They did that with Kenny Minchie, a four-star recruit who was committed to Pitt. Notre Dame flipped him. I think that we would see something similar with the Irish if they did ultimately lose Deuce Knight. Yeah. Um, when it comes to rankings, I mean, Notre Dame's been in free fall. They entered the summer as the number three ranked team in the on three industry rankings. They loaded up on early commitments, but since then, it's been a steady slide. You know, they're almost outside of the top 15. What are your expectations for Notre Dame when it comes to where they finish in the recruiting rankings in the 2025 cycle? Well, it's still a very talented class for Notre Dame. They just were one of the schools that got hot early and got most of their commitments in the fold, which then in turn put them very high in the recruiting standards. But they have one of the best offensive line classes in the country committed right now. There's a couple linebackers that they're certainly at the top or near the top of the list for still out there. Madden Faramo, Nathaniel Owusu Boateng uh, come to mind. They want to add another run, uh, wide receiver to this class as well, but they're about done. And this is a good class. Now they get to go out there and play the games this season and grab some momentum that way. Great opportunity Saturday night in prime time against Texas A&M. And a lot of people are projecting Notre Dame to make the college football playoff this year. Do that, and they'll finish strong on the trail. And they'll be one of the fast starters in 2026. That's been a mm -hmm. trademark of Marcus Freeman since he's took over at, at as head coach at Notre Dame. They've gotten off to fast starts every cycle. They've done a good job of retaining most of those guys. They're battling to keep Deuce Knight. They already lost Ivan Taylor to Michigan, but uh, still a very strong class for Notre Dame. They're in on some blue chip guys. They're going to be able to senior evaluate some players and be a factor down the stretch because of the way they're playing and the brand they have, the NFL recognition, the graduating of their players. Uh, Notre Dame is in the top 15, and we should celebrate that as much as instead of saying, hey, they're they're in a downward spin from, from three to three to 11 or whatever it is. It's still a pretty damn good class.